Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. Uh, so we have already seen in the previous tutorial like uh, what are external tables and what are the advantages of it and as well as uh, we have uh, created a directory that is a, a logical uh, directory uh, uh, logging in as a system, uh, system user and also we have granted all the permission on that directory to the user Scott user. So now in this tutorial we will see how we can create the external table what is the code for that and uh, you can uh, see that I already have a in our uh, the directory which we created uh, uh, that uh, c colon um, slash my program this is the uh, directory test underscore directory if you remember uh, whatever was uh, told in the previous tutorial if you haven't watched it then I recommend you to go back watch and then continue with this tutorial so in this directory I'm already having a, a file name as uh, names.txt this file I have some data the employee id the employee name and the accounts name uh, the department name so using this file i'm going to for this file i'm going to create an external table so here is the code that i've already written so you just uh, need to from here to here you can see it's very simple like a normal way of creating a table just say create then table table name then give the uh, column name and the data type for that uh, column so employee id e name that's a wildcat type and the d name wildcat type then after this just say organization external this is the way of uh, creating the external table so organization uh, space and external then open bracket then say type oracle loader this is the default one so just mention type oracle loader then after that say uh, you should mention your directory name for that you need to say default directory then your directory name uh, you, mu you must be remembering in the previous tutorial we have already created a directory uh, as a system user as a test underscore dir and I have given the path this path that c colon slash uh, my programs so this is the my directory the logical directory then I just say default directory and the directory name then say access parameters this is also keyword then inside that uh, just say how your uh, data is represented that's records is delimited by a new line and the fields are terminated by a comma you can see here if you see here uh, and the code uh, I'm saying here records are delimited by new line that is each record that is um, after well, this is one record the second record it starts only after the new line of the first record then in the the third uh, record starts after the new line so there's a the record is delimited by a new line and the fields are terminated by a comma you can see that the employee id and the employee name the department name everything is separated by a comma so that's what is the actual meaning of this record del delimited by the new line and the fields terminated by a comma then after this just uh, close the bracket and say location location in the location um, you need to give the uh, file name you can see here my file name is uh, names.txt so I've just mentioned that names.txt then close it and say reject limit unlimited so we'll see what is this reject limit unlimited you can even say reject limit zero also then uh, this is how you need to create um, uh, the external table so we'll just execute this code so here you can see the table got created so now uh, how to access this um, external table is just normal way uh, just say select star from admins you can see the the data is getting uh, displayed so now here you cannot uh, do any kind of dml operation whatever you want to do you need to go back and uh, do in your uh, uh, file itself see for example if i just uh, a log file is also created once after the execution now if uh, after the new line I will give some junk values that is um, in the starting it has to be a number right so I am just after the new line I have uh, given some bad characters junk values I will save this file and I will try executing the program you can see the, the junk value is not getting loaded whereas a bat file is there here if you go back you can see in the bat file the whatever file that was not loaded is shown here now what I'm going to do is in my uh, whatever uh, the file 
that I have uh, what I have created here reject limit was unlimited that is even when there are uh, number of uh, errors also still the data was displayed I do not want that if there are any error I want the error to be shown and uh, the data should not be displayed in such a case just um, same reject limit 0 ok so we will just uh, drop this uh, table here the drop table that means and we will create it once again so just say copy then here paste so we know we know that uh, there was some junk value there right so now when I am trying to select the data from the table it was admins sorry you can see the data is not getting uh, displayed you can see there is an error so the error is um, you know seen in this log file once you go to this log file uh, you will be able to see why it is not getting displayed so you can see record 4 uh, rejected in the showing the path name and all here so here um, this is the you know and also uh, this uh, you can use this log file to you know search for error and the file uh, that was not uh, loaded that also will be there in the bad file so when you uh, say this um, when this sorry in this code when you say reject limit 0 at that time uh, the reject uh, total error will get displayed if in case your data file is having some errors when you say unlimited all the data will get uh, uh, you know uh, data will get displayed even though when there are error records and the error records uh, will go and sit in this uh, bad file so this is how uh, you need to create an external table and uh, as I said the ex in the external table actually the data does not get stored only it points to the file which you have mentioned now the here as uh, I said name.txt this name.txt data has not uh, got uh, you know stored in the database but it will just uh, so in the in this place you can um, you know keep on changing the files and uh, you know instead of uh, changing this code you can place uh, different different files and you can um, use this external table for uh, for many things so this is what is about um, external tables hope you have understood if there are any queries then please let me know uh, my uh, email id is uh, plsql.informatica at gmail.com uh, hope you have um, enjoyed the tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching